know it's going to be jumpy. That's an MD-10. It's a DC-10 der uh, derivative or taken from a DC-10. Uh, basically, they tried to make the cockpit as much like an MD-11 as they possibly could. We got to light off the engine Monday. Don't normally like to do this, but the oil quantities are low. So let's get on upstairs and get it rocking. I've already got the APU running. I've uh, got the cone pulled away from the engine. Engines, and there ain't a soul on the ramp. So let's. Still warm for use in Texas, that's why I've got the damn air conditioning on. Alright. What I've got here is, I've already done all my engine pre-start checks, I just ran inside to get the, uh -oh, get the camera. So, Reason being here is I'm gonna have minimum 18 per engine and I've got 17, 16, and 19. So that's why we're running. Uh, parking brake is set, parking brake light is on. Uh, let's see what else we got here. APU is running, you can see that right there. And I've gotta turn the air on. I do not want the packs on, I've got the AC on already. So the air is on. I should be able to go to my air page. Right here, I should see the number two. Duck pressure start dry. There's 21. I'll reach up here. And hello, air page or fuel air. I'm going to open up the 1 2 ISO valve. And I'm going to open up the 1 3 ISO valve. And those ISO valves are now open. Waiting for number three. There it is. And I should see duct pressure in all the ducts. Or all the manifolds, I should say. So we're looking good there. Hydro is set. I've got my brake pressure. Uh, I'm going to leave the hydro system in automatic. And uh, we'll see these pumps come on and test themselves as we start the engines. And what else we got? Uh, done our fire test. Uh, fuel system on the MD-10 is automatic, so I should get my pumps. I should get my pumps uh, automatically. Uh, right now, this plane is extremely heavy, 74,000 pounds, because uh, it has fuel work. We had to fill it up, one tank. Of course, you have to fill up another tank to offset the weight. And uh, so we're really quite heavy, so this me burning off fuel is probably not a bad idea. All right, so we want to arm the ignition. Let's go with B. Okay, we're good there. We got our air pressure. Packs are off. On the MD-11, this is automatic. On the MD-10, it's not. So we come over here to our engine start. And again, parking brake is set. Let's go ahead and turn the beacon on. I call it the bacon, but turn the beacon on. And we'll open up the number one start valve, get a light. This is where we, okay, now you can see that the pumps, number one engine pumps are kicked into gear. I've got N2, I've got no EGT, and I'm still waiting for the fan to come on. Now at this point, I'm gonna go over to the engine page. And what I'm concerned about here is my oil pressure. See it rising, that's a good thing. My hydro pump for the number one are actually on now too. That's all from the starter. Pretty amazing starter. All right, so you want to go to max motor. N2. Shouldn't we make 20? 20%. I'm going to back off here and actually 20.1. I think we're pretty much a max motor. All right, fuel coming on. I'm looking for fuel flow, initial fuel flow, low, no. I don't see EGT, here's our EGT, you can hear the engine kicking off outside. Fuel flow, fuel flow actually, initial fuel flow 
it's been a while since I started the MG10. The 600, that's actually exactly where you want it to be. I've got in one climate. Okay, I want to see starter cut out at 45%. Boom. Okay, starter cut out. Looking at my ETT, 562, 543. All right, that engine is up. Let's go look at our hydro page. Got this pump on, and we still don't have, we're not pressurizing. Yes, we are. Number one system, so we got plenty of brake power. All right, number three. Our valve is open. Go back to my engine page. Okay, here's my N2. Okay, and I want to see positive oil flow or oil pressure. Okay, let's climb it rather slowly. Rather slowly. About a max motor here. I'm at 18, 7, 18, 8, 9, 19. PSI 197. Am I going to make 20? Yeah, wait. Don't burn out this starter either. There's 20. Waiting for EGT. There's my fuel flow. 600. Still waiting for EGT. There it goes. Slowly, which is what we want. There goes N1, which is the fan, front fan, basically. All right, 37, 8, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Start a cutout, light out. Good enough. DGT is falling. That's a good start on number two. Go to the hydro page. If I look at my brakes now, System one is hydraulic system one, system two is actually hydraulic system three. Plenty of brake pressure for the hydro page. And kind of waiting for that last pump right there to go amber, or arm in this case. I'll watch that, I'm gonna get busy start number two. All right, start number two. Start valve open. There it is, finally. It checks out both hydro pumps on engine start, and then uh, one goes to, one remains on, and one goes to arm. So in case the one that's on fails, the other one will kick in. So let's go to our engine page, and look for positive oil pressure on number two. It is climbing, but man, is it slow. All right, 19.9, there's 20. I got a good, nice starter on this engine. Let it climb. And 20.7. Let's go ahead and go for it. All right. Fuel on. This is fuel flow 600. Waiting for EGT. Waiting for EGT. Boom. Got a light off. And one. There he goes. All right, fuel flow. Looking good. Okay, start a cut out at 45, 46, somewhere in that range. 44, 45. Start valve is closed, and now I can dump the ignition system back to off. That was right there, not right there. And the EGT has stabilized, so we got three good starts. And uh, my oil quantities are all low because the engine's going to suck some down. That's the reason why we're running this to watch them recover after I shut up and shut down the engines. Okay, 
So let's go. We've got uh, go to the engine page. Got good oil pressure, all three. Oil temp, climbing, oil quantities, of course, falling. And hydro. Still waiting for this middle pump to go on, and it just did. God, my timing is something awesome. All right. Uh, number one generator online. Number two, number three, all online. That looks good. So let's go to the air page. I don't, I'm not using the air. What I can do here is reach up here, kill the APU air. Again, I don't really need the packs, but I can cycle this bleed, bleed, and bleed. I'll just cycle the number one. Okay. Goes in line. Now kill the APU air. So the number one engine is putting out 23 PSI and the pack is off. I'll cycle the pack on just so you can see. Pack. Switch on. Armed. And... Hello. Hello, there we go. Pack on. I'm gonna kill the pack. Alright. Uh, Good. Kill the bleeds. Okay, sweet. Don't need the ISO valves. Kill those. Okay, and move on. Fuel. Again, fuel pumps are automatic on this airplane. Fuel pumps are on it, feeding the engine. It's big. Let's do a little flight controlling shit here. It's a uh, little spoiler handle. Do this with my right hand. Hang on. There we go. Boilers up. Boilers down. Go pull that wing down to the green boxes. Wait. And green box. Elevator. Green box. with one hand. Alright, I can do this with one foot. Rudder. And rudder. Looking good there. Let's go ahead and do this left wing down again one more time. I hope we get an outboard green box or not. So awesome since I've been on this airplane. Do this right, right wing down. No green box. Oh, I have to ask about that. Alright. Air, don't care about. That's basically it. Yeah, status. No maintenance issues. Miscellaneous. Nothing. And of course, you can figure I've got my brakes and my tire, tire brake temp. So on this plane only. And back to the engines. Oil's all stabilized at 15. Oil pressures are all stabilized. Alright, so let's shut them down in the order that we started them up. Number one. Quieter. Number three. The flow drops to zero. DGT starts to drop off. And one starts to drop off. Or excuse me, in two. One is dropping. My, actually, my hydro pumps stay up for quite a while. I shut the number one engine off. But that is uh, still, that pump's still good. Number three engine is off now. That pump's still running. And it will run until that damn thing is almost down to nothing. Alright, number two engine. Okay. New flow. Drops to zero. EGT dropping offline, N2 coming down. Of course, my generators are all going to be offline now. Boom, boom, boom. Let's say, all right. Really, what I care about.
about is my oil. See how number one came up to 20? Sweet. Number two, three is up to 18, and number two is climbing. All right, other than the green boxes, I'm good with all this shit, so bye.